Hi, I'm Bernard Nomberg, Birmingham, Alabama with the Nomberg Law Firm. And anyone who is a homeowner, whether it's a mobile home or brick and mortar or apartment condo, wherever it is that you live, fire safety should be part of a plan that you have for you and your family. And in this video, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and talk about the ways to prepare your home to be safe dealing with home fires and those types of, of situations. First of all, make sure that you have the proper number of smoke alarms throughout your house. Have them tested regularly, once a month, once a quarter, at least once or twice a year. Make sure the batteries are all up to date. They should be replaced each year. If you have them that are tied to an alarm system, contact your alarm system company to make sure that they're also in good working order. The type of fire alarms that have been recommended most recently are the time that are the kind that not only make sounds, the usual very loud, annoying noises, but because if you may have kids in your home, the ones that also speak, because it's been shown that a child is much more likely to sleep through those annoying alarm sounds, but they may be more likely to hear voices. So look into those as well. Teach your children how smoke alarms work, what they sound like, why they're important. Uh, obviously, based on age appropriate is how you'll deal with, with your children about teaching them about those things. Ensure that all members of your household know at least two ways to escape from the rooms in your house, whether it's through windows, doors, whatever it may be and have a place where your family is known to meet outside once you escape from the home if it's one of those urgent situations. Establish a family emergency communication plan. Ensure that all household members know who to contact if they can't find one another. Another suggestion would be to practice escaping from your home. Do that once a year or every so often. Do a test in your home. Press an alarm, yell fire, come up with a plan, and then execute it so everybody in the house knows what to do. Make sure that everyone in your house knows how to dial 911 and the proper way to communicate with the people on the other end receiving that call. Also, teach people in the house, all the members of your home, your family, whoever's living there, how to stop drop and roll in case their clothing catches on fire. There are, there are other suggestions, there are other videos, there are other ways to teach and learn about how to deal with fire safety in the home. This is just a few suggestions. I suggest that you contact the Red Cross or your local fire department if you have further questions or concerns.